Good day, everyone. I'm Inona Alexa Supura, and together with me, Rochelle Maybe Arroso, arranging Jipa Gonsan, and Will Brennan C. Patalagsa, near Group 3B from Season 3E, and this is our study on goal orientation and academic performance of nursing students with academic breaks. Education must constantly evolve in order to be of a high quality for all students. As online academic settings have been currently adopted, it is more challenging for nursing students to be committed and motivated in their learning development. Nursing is a goal-driven profession, and each student has a unique approach to their academic performance. In January 2021, a university implemented an academic break for the higher education unit every Friday. Thus, the purpose of this study was to determine the relationship between goal orientation and academic performance of nursing students with academic breaks. For the research design, the study utilized quantitative research based on correlational research design. It investigates relationships between variables without the researcher controlling or manipulating any of them. The correlation between the goal orientation and academic performance of nursing students with academic breaks in a university were examined. For the study sample, the Slovis formula was used to determine an appropriate sample size from a population where it determined that the target population was 254 nursing students that participated in this study. The study used stratified random sampling in conducting the actual data gathering where the strata was formed based on the participant section in their respective year levels and determined the sample size of the participants, specifically 99 from the second year level, 94 from the third year level, and 61 from the fourth year level. After the sample size from each year level was generated, the nursing students were chosen by employing convenient sample to maximize time and resources in the selection of the participants. The research instrument used was a perception of success questionnaire or the POSQ, which was adapted from the study of Osan Supervia and Salavera Bordes 2020, thus modified to incorporate in an academic setting. The study also utilized a modified self-reporting questionnaire entitled Factors Affecting the Academic Performance of Nursing Students During Online Class which was adapted from ALOS et al. 2015 and modified in order to relate it to a virtual setup. The validity of the questionnaires was introducing the good and skates validity test and showed that the overall mean from the three juries was 4.66, which interprets as excellent and is considered valid. The reliability of the instrument was tested using the Cronbox Alpha test and showed the Cronbox Alpha of 0.799 for the POSQ, 0.792 for the factors affecting the academic performance of nursing students during online class, and showed 0.774 for the overall scale. Female nursing students are greater in number of 70.1% and 29.9% of male nursing students. Females dominate the nursing profession and only a few male individuals indulge in nursing as a chosen profession. Most of the nursing students have a GPA of 2 to 1.60, which means 90 to 94 with a percentage of 63.8%. According to this GPA relates that most students taking a nursing course are exemplary in the academy. Among the three-year levels in nursing, the second year has a higher percentage of 39%. The second year was possibly the academic year when nursing students could adopt the nursing activities and routines, having fewer cases of dropping out. The indicator I reached personal goals as the highest indicator of 65.4% of nursing students who strongly agree. It indicates a balance between the personal lives of nursing students with their academic life. With the highest indicator, I beat other people with 51.2% of nursing students who strongly disagree. Based on the results of this section, the level of goal orientation of nursing students in terms of ego shows that they are less likely to beat other people because they are well-educated and well-mannered. In the subcategory personal condition, the indicator with the highest frequency was feeling hungry in class with 59.1% who agrees. Feeling hungry in class will definitely affect the level of academic performance of every nursing student due to the fact that they cannot focus well and pay full attention because they are distracted by hunger. Next, study habits. One indicator was discovered to fall within the range of 1.6%, namely the item I copy my friend's assignments. For the home-related section, the table reveals that I have user-friendly devices to use for an online class was indicator with the highest and lowest frequency in the subset with 61.8% and 1.2%. For the school-related section, two indicators, the module and test given are accessible together with my tuition comes with high fees, were found to have a minimal impact with only 0.8%. Under teacher-related section, the indicators with the lowest frequency in this subject were teacher has mastery of the subject matter, teachers discuss many topics in a short period of time, and teachers provide varied activities with only two nursing students which is 0.8% disagreeing to each question. For the relationship between goal orientation of nursing students with academic breaks as a whole and profile variables, the result shows that there were no significant relationship between goal orientation, sex, GPA, and year level. For the relationship between factors of academic performance as a whole and profile variables, the result shows that there was a very weak significant relationship between factors of academic performance and GPA.
Female nursing students outnumber male nursing students. The majority have a good GPA. The second year has the highest percentage, while the fourth year has the lowest percentage. The level of goal orientation of nursing students concerning tasks includes academic and personal development. Meanwhile, in terms of eco, nursing students are approachable for nursing-related information to other students. The factors of the level of academic performance concludes that student nurses only eat light meals to start the day, able to manage the remaining time wisely, and prioritize prioritize goals according to their occurrence, resilient despite difficult conditions, triggered with nursing fees, and learning effectively with varied activities. The relationship between the goal orientation of nursing students with academic break as a whole and profile variables indicates no relation with the student's profile. Goal orientation of nursing students with academic break does not vary significantly based on their sex, GPA, and year level. The given profile variables have nothing to do with the goal orientation of nursing students. On the relationship between factors of academic performance of nursing students with academic braces as a whole and profile variables, the sex and year level are shown to have no relation at all, while GPA showed a weak significant relationship. Thus, male and female nursing students can both excel in the academic setup regardless of their year level. However, the GPA has a very weak consideration in determining the academic performance of nursing students. Thus, if the student has a good GPA, we can lightly conclude that she or he has a good academic performance. The study is recommended for the benefit of nursing school administrators, nursing educators, nursing students, parents, and future researchers.